Hi, this is Andrea Shulman again, and in today's quick Law of Attraction video, we're going to talk about why you need to be successful. Self-sabotage and feeling bad about your success will always impede your ability to be successful. The information in this video will get you on board with why it's okay, not only okay, but important for you to be successful so that you're supportive of yourself in creating your own success. Now, if you're excited to watch today's video, please do give it a thumbs up and remember to comment and share your feedback. Your engagement really does help promote my work here on this platform and I sincerely appreciate it. Quick reminder, my Signs from the Universe course is closing enrollment in just one week. If you've been waiting for this course, or if you simply want to learn how to follow the signs of the universe, how to know what the guidance is and how to direct your focus with it, I'd highly recommend checking out the course now. To look into that course, go ahead and look below in the description for a link. Okay, let's get into it. If you want to manifest success in any area of life. It is critical that you are on board with the idea that it's good for you to be successful. If you are holding back, focusing on doubts, worried about what other people think, or feeling bad about achieving success, it will invariably prevent you from manifesting success in your dream. People who manifest success are 100% on board with achieving and manifesting their success. They come running out of the gate, they take every shot they can get, and they're enthusiastic about it. They're not slugging through it or feeling bad about it. Rather, they're just going for it, which is why they are successful. This isn't about hard work. Rather, it's about stepping into, tapping into a vibration that is super powerful and super conductive, where they're acting and thinking about their vision with clarity, purpose, and an inherent natural drive. And you can think about this with somebody who perhaps has achieved success with exercise. They go to the gym or they go do their run or they go do their aerobics and they totally get into it. They totally and fully commit and they'll tell you how much they enjoy it. You can see it with somebody who's on a weight loss mission, how into it they'll tell you about what they're doing and all the things that they're trying and the success that they're having. You can see it with somebody who's manifesting love, how they really just throw themselves entirely into the new relationship, surrender to it and really put everything into it that they can. And you can totally see it in business too with those business leaders who are totally enthusiastic and passionate about what it is that they're doing. Anyone who's having success in any area of life is committed to their success and feels good about their success. Okay, so hopefully by this point in the video, I've sold you on why it's important for you to be okay and be on board with your own success if you actually want to manifest success. So let's go ahead and tell you why you are going to be on board with your success. I'm gonna tell you exactly why. You should be. And <laughs> if you watch a lot of my videos, you know how much I dislike the word should. Should can be a highly limiting word, but in this case, it's in your best interest that I use this word now. Yes, you should be on board with your success. Why? Because it's your ethical responsibility to be successful. Yes, I said it. It is your ethical responsibility to be successful in your dream, to bring your vision through to fruition. This is your world that you are creating. You are the creator of your world. In other words, you're like the parent of your reality. And a good parent takes care of his or her child. A good parent invests in it as much as humanly possible. You're the parent of your reality. It is your ethical responsibility to make your reality as good as possible. If you want to be the very best caretaker of your reality and build your world to be one of love, abundance, and prosperity, you need to be successful and you need to be on board with your success. For a more down-to-earth example, Let's say that you have created a running shoe, okay, and you're an entrepreneur, and this is a running shoe. It's very innovative. It drastically reduces injury in runners, and it helps them run really fast, and it's a fabulous, fabulous product. If you doubt yourself, if you don't go for it, 
If you really don't give yourself permission to be successful in promoting your business, in building your business, and in moving forward with your vision, you are failing in your ethical responsibility to the rest of the world. Why? How many runners are gonna get injured that wouldn't get injured if they had your shoe? How much will you be holding back further innovation on your idea in the generations to come? See, if you have an idea, if you have a vision and you don't take action on it, you are preventing the rest of the world from capitalizing on your success. If you have financial goals for yourself and you aren't committed to being successful in those financial goals, you are failing in your ethical responsibility. Why? Because you're self-sabotaging your ability to help not just yourself, not just your family, not just your spouse, but the rest of the world. Think of all the different people and businesses and charities and even the government that isn't gonna get money from you that you should be manifesting. If you have a dream, if you have a vision, it is your ethical responsibility to get on board with the idea that you need to be successful, that it's important for you to be successful. This isn't just about what you want. It isn't just about impressing other people. It isn't just about any of that. What it's really about is creating your reality in the highest vision possible that benefits not just you, but anybody in the world that you happen to be co-creating with. So don't hold back, don't pull punches. Go ahead and get out there. Take action on your vision. Think positively about your vision. Learn about your vision. Give yourself every opportunity to be successful because it's not just something that you want, it's something that you and everybody else needs. Remember, it is your ethical responsibility to be 100% on board with the idea of you being successful. All right, I hope that you have enjoyed this pep talk and that it's really got you on board with the idea that you should be going towards the things that you want. If you have enjoyed this video, again, please do give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think about it below in the comments. And again, if you were interested in checking out my Signs from the Universe course, again, it is only open for enrollment for a very brief window of time. It's closing in just one week. And so if you'd like to learn more about that course now, again, go ahead and look below in the description for a link. Thanks again for watching today's video and have a great day. Bye-bye.